Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be showing you what I got from the Erin Condren launch day haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I would like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you're returning. Again, my name is Brandy Janae and on this channel, I am a cash-based budgeter on the road to financial freedom and I do that by playing savings challenges and games. I am also a planner girl and I love all things planner related. I am an Air Force mom and a kindergarten teacher. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, I would love for you to join the Brandy Janae family by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell while you're there so that you can be notified anytime I post a new video. So like I said, I did purchase some items from the Erin Condren launch. Not very many just because I have enough stuff. <laughs> But one thing, first of all, let me tell you about the drama that is this package. So I purchased it. Uh, I don't know if it was on launch day, but it was like around, you know, around that time. So what I should have received was my, you know, what I ordered. I got an email or no, I had, I got an email saying that it had shipped. And then I kind of forgot about it. And so I looked and I'm like, where's my package? So I just happened to, you know, track it or whatever. And it says it was delivered on May 3rd. And I'm like, it's May 5th. I don't see it. It couldn't have been delivered because it's not here. So I call, you know, I reach out to the Aaron Conjure and like the chat messaging thing. And I'm like, dude, like it says my package was delivered, but it's not here because it's May 5th. It says it was delivered on May 3rd. I don't have it. I don't know where it is. And so whoever I was speaking to was like, well, yeah, it was delivered. And they sent me a picture of where they delivered it to. Cause I guess FedEx sent it to them. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not my house. Like, I don't, that's, that's my neighbor's house. That's not my house. So I'm like, you know, chatting back and forth with this person. And they're like, well, we can issue you a refund or whatever, or a replacement, not a refund, a replacement. And I'm like, well, give me a moment. Let me run next door to see if they still have it, like what they did with it. So I go knock on the door and a girl answers who I've never seen before. And I'm like, hey, uh, according to, you know, UP or FedEx, this is where my package was delivered. I don't have it. And she's like, well, how do you know it was here? And I said, because they sent a picture and she's like, oh, and so I show her the picture and it's literally like on their porch, they have these like really disgusting, like work boots. <laughs> Like you can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? So they put the back, the box right in front of those boots. So of course, when I walked to the porch, I knew exactly where the box was delivered. And so I'm like, it, this, they delivered here. They sent a picture and she's like, well, how do you know? How do you know it was here? And so I hold up my phone. She's standing in the door. I hold up my phone and I'm like, this is your home. Like these are your boots. This is where my box was in front of your boots. Do you have the box? Oh no, I haven't seen it. So I'm like, liar, liar, pants on fire. But okay, whatever. So I message the guy and I'm like, they said they don't have it. I don't know where it is, whatever. So they sent a replacement. Now, I got the replacement, you know, within a few days, whatever. What I'm upset about though, <laughs> and I didn't even realize it until today that I should be upset about it, is what I'm upset, upset about is the fact that, yes, they did resend it, which was awesome, but... I know in my original package, I should have gotten this because when you purchased at the launch time, the orders came with this sampler pack. And again, I don't necessarily need it because I did get it when we were at Go Wild, you know, wonderfully. They just gave it to us at our tables. But still, I want my stuff, you know. And so because I got it now after the fact, I guess, you know, they've probably run out of these or whatever, so they didn't send me one. So, anywho, I was in my feelings about it just now, so I had to tell you guys this long, drawn-out story. But anyway, in case you're new and you have not seen any of this, <laughs> Aaron Condor released this Life Planner Sampler Pack, and so it basically started in, in May, 
And so you would go through the end of April and then all the way through May, trying out these different layouts so that when it was time for you to order another planner, you could decide which layout you actually, you know, prefer and would like to try again. So I just thought this was really cool. So it gives you May and it gives you June so that you can basically start planning now. And then you would switch to your new one that starts in July, assuming that that's the book you got. Now, some people bought like the 18 month planner and they figured out that I feel like it's like October or November or something. Can the dates align with May and June? So they're doing it early. I'm not doing all of that. I don't even know if I really use this other than to just kind of play around with the different layouts because some of these layouts I have never tried. So that was why I really wanted this. Um, and I'm assuming this is like an A5 size, you know, thing. And I don't really know. So like this first one is in the Evolve uh, colorway. Uh, this one is in the Bold Blooms colorway. Let's see. We have the Canvas, which is my favorite. I just don't like all the colors. And then we have the Evolve again. The, oh, all of that's Evolve. The Bold Blooms. I think it's beautiful, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of all the colors. I think this is still Bold Blooms. Yes. And then this is the canvas again. This is the Evolve. I do really like that color. And then this one is the Bold Blooms again. So it just shows you like the different colorways. So anyway, that is this. Um, but the reason why I wanted another one is because I wanted to be able to give one away. <laughs> so that someone else can try it. But yeah, such is life. So anyway, what I actually ordered was this so i got the daily duo um i think this is i don't even know i should have i don't even know what i did with my paper somebody tell me what pattern this is i don't even know i picked it because of do 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 <laughs> the three butterflies that's it this might be blooms i don't know um but yeah i picked it because of the butterflies that was it that was the whole reason why I picked this one. I don't do the, anything with the coil. Silver is fine with me. It does come with a new bookmark this time. And now it's more of a stencil. And then you have your ruler. So it's a lot wider. Oh, here's the old one. This is what they used to look like just for comparison purposes. Um, so this is cool. But I feel like this will still like fit better, you know, in the pages. But I don't know. But I do like the idea of this being a stencil um and so and if it comes in two so your first is january through december and look how big this book is you guys so needless to say this is going to be a house book <laughs> this is not going outside um but you get january through december in this or sorry july through december in this one and then you have your january through june in this one so they are the same just different covers um, and I do have some other 7x9 covers, so I can switch these out when I want to. But this, again, is so gorgeous to me. So you have your vellum sheet, and it has the little, like, asterisks on it. Your cover page, of course. And I got the 7x9, not because I prefer 7x9, because I actually prefer the A5 size. But A5 does not come in canvas in the Daily Duo, which still makes me very, very sad. So your first page which only has your six months and these first couple pages and then you have your like year at a glance and I usually put like paydays and things like that on here and then it goes right into July but yeah I just like the neutral no color I guess this is like a gray gray white that's it <laughs> now they did switch this part just in case you're new now you have the dashboard on this side. The dashboard used to be on this side and the notes page was over here. I'm not really sure why the change, but I like it. I'm here for it. And so for these pages, for me, I'm going to condense now since I'm using this down two books. I'm going to condense into one. So this one is going to have my budget 
as well as like my daily to do tasks list things like that since it's going to be staying home so i plan on putting like my budget overview on here and then my breakdowns on this page and then on this page i love that they incorporated a weekly because that was one of the reasons i didn't really want to use the daily duo before because there was nowhere to put like my weekly plans but i like this so um yeah, so I like this because I'm still going to put like I was using in the um, one I got from Heather Kell from Kell of a Plan. So I'm still going to put like what bills are due on this day just because that's relevant information to me. But then I can also put like any activities or plans. So I can kind of pre-plan it, which I like, you know, having that ability. And then, of course, you go into your daily pages. So in July 1st starts on a Monday. How amazing, like amazing so yeah so you have your daily pages they look like this you get a full friday saturday and sunday i know some books try to split saturday and sunday but i'm happy this one doesn't and then you get a notes page so front and back notes page and then it starts all over again and yes i am 100 here for it what made me happy and what made me ultimately decide is they removed that little calendar that i absolutely hated <laughs> because i felt like it was just such a waste of space and then they extended this part now some people are not happy about the fact that they extended this part but again i'm here for it so yeah i'm excited so this is everything it's just the same it just repeats um august says courage permits you space to explore september let your thoughts give hope and guidance october you have so much to offer as the person you are right now i love that i love that november personal growth lies within the unknown December happiness is not by chance, but by choice. So true. And then once you get to the back, you get your final. Oh, they give you the last couple days of December. Then you get your final note pages, the first half of the Heritage and Awareness of Services. And then you get your stickers, which I actually always end up taking out because I don't like them. And then you also get your folder, which I will also probably take out because I don't need it. And then you always get this perpetual calendar and then some like coupons. And let me pull these little cards out because these are different. These are different. So this one says, never let go of your dreams. Do you your best with what you've got and align action with intentions. I like these. So these are always nice to just kind of stick in the pockets. And the perpetual calendar is just amazing for just everything. I keep all birthdays and important dates in there. Um, and then, you know, you have your back cover with the lined. All of this can be used with Sharpie or like the wet erase markers. And then here is the beautiful black back cover. And so then basically this book, again, exactly, it's an exact replica, but it starts in January. So January says, don't wish for it, work for it. February, purpose fuels passion. March, discover who you are beyond who you've been. Love that. April, what you imagine you create. May, find acceptance within yourself. And then June, if you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. Woo! Ouch. That's powerful. That, that one right there, that hit me. That hit me in the gut. All right. And then you have your second half of Heritage and Awareness of Services, uh, your stickers again, and then your pocket. And that is it for that. So I'm super excited about that. Then I also purchased this. Um, like it's like a folio. Does it say what it's called? This is in the peacock, which I think is gorgeous. But basically, this goes. This 
goes inside here. So you would take this cover, oops, slide it in the back. Ugh. And then you have a beautiful protective cover for your planner. Isn't that so pretty? And again, this won't leave my house, but I just thought it was cute. I feel like, though, it probably could have been. Oh, it wasn't in all the way. I'm like, it probably could have been a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I think my coils are off. Okay. Yeah, because like it won't. I guess for the smaller planners, the second cover, the second button is an option. For this one, not so much. But yeah, anyway, I like it. It's cute. And it'll look cute just kind of sitting on my table. And if for some reason I do have to take it somewhere, I am able to. All right. So, oh, and it does have a pin loop. I didn't even talk about the features. This, like, secretarial pocket and then another pocket here. And then this is the back with the embossed Erin Condren logo, which is super cute. So, I know it is like way, 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 way in advanced, <laughs> but I want, I just want to lay down some stickers because it's been a while since I've gotten to play with an Erin Condren. And I have this kit from The Right Place Plans. And this one was not formatted for like the new, was it? Is this one formatted for the new? No, because it still has the boxes. So yeah, it wasn't formatted for the new, but that's okay. I still love it. So here's the days, your boxes. So these are all the functional things. And then your checklist. And yeah, Cheyenne has changed these. So right now, use code brandy20 i'm pretty sure my code is still active <laughs> use code brandy20 to save 20 percent on your order and definitely go follow the right place plans because she is always posting like sales and you know things like that um on her website so i think my pr term is over though but i feel like if i'm not mistaken she told me that she would allow our um things to run a little bit longer. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna just put stickers on Monday and then I love that it starts on the first. Do I want it? No, we'll put it next to you. I'm gonna put stickers on Monday and then I will do the rest off camera and then flip through. To show it all to you. I'm going to wipe this out because I have a feeling you'll be able to see this white. I mean through this white here. Uh, I think oh nope. I should have started on the other side. Sorry for the flips. And I'm going to, I don't really want to cover, cover the gray line, so I'm not. She made it, there's enough space. So you can color the line if you want to, but you don't have to. And because gray is one of my favorite colors, I don't want to. Ah, I love that. See, it's already perfect. <laughs> Now, this will not be something that I do every week just because um, it, it will, it's obviously already massive. So having extra bulk is just, it's not really that necessary. So this will mostly be a paper pen kind of book. But the reality is, you guys, like I, my memory lately, as far as like tasks has just been, Phew, I have been struggling, struggling to remember what has to be done and when it has to be done. So this will help me 
do what I need to do. <laughs> I'm hoping. So my AM routine typically starts around, oh my gosh, wait a minute. <laughs> July 1st, I don't know what I have to do, but I don't have to get up at five because guess what? Your girl is off for the summer. <laughs> I forgot. Mm, whoa. Okay. Well, yep. I don't have to get up. I'll still probably be up early, but I don't have to get up at five. Hey, no. Okay. So then this would go here. And I probably could have whited that out too, but we're not going to worry about it. I think. These boxes may be a little bit different. Probably with the new layout, I think it's a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah. And then, what I should have brought also, oh, here, we can just, we can just switch it up. Okay, another thing I should have grabbed was my um, some more stickers. I could use some like different deco. That's okay. Okay, so this is what a, you know, like typical day could, would look like. I would, I probably grab some just for like, you know, future use of this. Probably grab some different stickers just to add some more like deco to the page. So it's not so, so, so boxy. But again, for the most part, I really just want to use this as a to-do list and like, you know, hourly scheduler type thing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some more pages off camera and I will be back. Okay, so I finished it up. Here's a flip through Monday and Tuesday. This is such an awkward, like when it's new, such an awkward. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's much better when it's like half and half. Wednesday and Thursday. I love this kit, you guys. It is so pretty. Here's Friday and Saturday. And then, of course, Sunday. So, first week of January, or January. First week of July is done. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, all I need to do is add these other pages. But I'll do that when we get closer to July. I just want to show you how cute this book is with the new changes and even with the changes if you have some of the old formatted kits they can still be used it's fine it all works so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video again if you did i would love for you to give me a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post a new video you guys are so, so, so amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.